Business leaders from all over the low country got together late last week to find out about the state of the region. Robin Zimmerman has more. We're here at the Marriott on Hilton Head Island for the Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce State of the Region Luncheon. To kick the luncheon off, there was a QR code where folks throughout the luncheon could answer certain questions like, what are the biggest issues in Bluffton and Hilton Head and Hardyville and the County of Buford? And the answers were all similar. The issues with growth and the traffic and transportation and workforce housing. Many elected officials were here at the luncheon and of course the Buford County Economic Development Corporation. Mayor of Hardyville, Harry Williams, has joined us at this wonderful event where Lindsey Graham is going to be speaking. So what do you expect him to say about the state of the region, Mayor? I, th I think that he'll probably emphasize um, getting more funds south. And that's really what I'm hoping that the message of the growth of this area uh, needs help from our federal partners. Do you think he understands what is going on in this area, particularly in Hardyville, this whole low country region? Do you think he truly understands the amazing growth that we're having in this region? I'm hopeful okay. that if he doesn't know before lunch, he'll know <laughs> after lunch. So right. um, that because I think, and I don't know what the other mayors are going to say, but I'm going to emphasize that growth and what it means for the infrastructure that we need in this part of the state. Charlie Stone is with us. He's a senior project manager with the Buford County Economic Development Corporation. Of course, Senator Lindsey Graham is here to talk about the state of the region. From your perspective in the Buford County Economic Development Corporation, what is the state of the region? Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, you know, in my role with the Economic Development Corporation, and obviously we're very focused on business attraction as well as business retention, uh, but we're also focused on kind of a balanced real approach. You know, how does economic development play into uh, workforce, workforce housing, um, as well as education and conservation. So I'm excited to hear the Senator speak about just the convergence of all these different factors that are important to our community here in Beaufort County. Well, number one, the state of the region is good. It's a great place to uh, start a business, raise a family, and we want to keep it that way. It is growing very fast. I come here fairly often to make sure that the infrastructure needs of the region are met. One of the reasons I voted for the uh, infrastructure bill that was somewhat controversial among Republicans is it had a billion dollars allocated uh, for South Carolina infrastructure needs. I'm sure Georgia benefited also. But the one thing you have to understand about this region, if you don't stay ahead of the game, you'll get left behind. A lot of people come here for tourism and they, we, they need to have a good experience. They can't be on the roads for hours. You're not gonna live here if you can't drive around. One of the big benefits of this bill is to improve broadband internet access for rural areas. I've been here enough to know that cell phone coverage is spotty, so it's my hope uh, by 2025, you'll see a uh, increase in internet and broadband services in this part of Georgia and South Carolina. For the region to stay what it is today, you have to invest in quality of life issues. I was at the Buford Hospital uh, just a few months ago talking about expanding the hospital. As the community grows, it puts stress on roads, water, and sewer. Uh, beach re-nourishment. So I consider myself a partner of this region. The chamber is made up of competitors during the day who work together to improve the quality of life. This is probably the most effective chamber I deal with anywhere in South Carolina. Uh, Bill does a good job. It's a huge crowd here today. And the business community has been a good, reliable partner. So how can you afford to live here if you're a cop, if you're a nurse, if you're here working in the hotels, where do you live? Charleston has that same problem. We have an affordable housing problem all over the nation. We have an inventory problem. One of the problems we have is finding people to build houses. Right. We're gonna to have to develop our workforce. I am pro-immigration, legal immigration. I wanna make sure that every American has a chance to get a job, but there's some people throughout the world that would love to come here and work temporarily to help us with our economy. So one of the things the chamber is dealing with 
is to creating affordable housing for people in the workforce. You know, this is a tourist destination, but this is also home. And if you're a police officer, you're a nurse, uh, uh, you're a school teacher, or you work in one of these hotels, we got to make sure there's a place for you and your family to live that's quality and affordable. And that's a big problem along the coast. So we want to we want to make sure that if you're born here, you stay here. Right. My goal is to make sure that people who want to live here all of their lives can have jobs beyond the tourist industry. So broadband internet is the key to growing the non-tourism part of the com uh, uh, of the economy. You got to have a, a reliable labor force. You got to have affordable housing for people to build in this area. In closing. Senator Lindsey Graham said the state of the region is actually very good, except there are challenges. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Robin. When we come back, we'll lighten things up a little bit. Loco Sports is next.